It's just going to start focus firing down these uh, probes, and with the amount of vultures that are here, I'm going to have to say there's probably something like a 12 probe kill there, if not more. All the gas probes had to be transferred, and there's no more gas mining on that base. There's only two probes left alive there, and vultures being so cost effective and just pretty much so worthless, other than for the uh, metal wall for the tanks. In an actual battle, that was extremely effective, extremely cost effective as well. Look at the mines in this base. I mean, there are just about as many mines as there are supply depots in that base so um really prepared is lita for uh, any kind of recall that uh Tempest might be looking to throw at him and yeah i don't i do not expect that six o'clock base to stay up for very long it can be shelled extremely easily over that tiny little wall that you see there um i don't know why tanks can't just drive over walls like that hopefully in starcraft 2 there will be a terror a terrain like that where tanks can drive over and yeah just as i was saying it um, yeah, there are going to be tanks going to be shelling that, uh, that 6 o'clock position. However, a sizable force coming in here. A ton of turrets. However, not many tanks or any other forces for that matter. A huge EMP goes off there. And it looks like those tanks are going to come in and take the low ground position there. No, they're going to try to force themselves up that ramp. A huge stasis going off, though. A massive stasis going off on those tanks. Um, those tanks are going to be trapped on that ramp. as So they're not going to be able to fight. And nor are any other forces that are going to be wanting to come in here. For Lita, those SCVs will be able to be transferred out of there. However, oh, those mines going off everywhere around those SCVs. Just a massive scare. But, uh, yeah, so it looks like uh, he's going to be able to escape. I don't know if that command center is necessarily going to be able to survive. However, if he does escape... Escape! Is he gonna survive with that command center? Command center! Ooh! Command center! Ooh! No! Ah! One more shot going off, and it looks like he C blocked himself from getting at that command center. There's about 40 hit points left on that CC. An SCV waiting in the wings. No! He does not push it out far enough, and that observer is obsessed. That arbiter gets the kill on the CC, but I do not think, like I was about to say, that that's gonna make much of a difference. The six o'clock position, as you can see on the mini map, was completely taken out. Um, pylon. Nexus, cannons and all were completely taken out and it looks like Lita now pushing in with this sizable force of tanks and vultures to that uh that three o'clock position the mineral only there and as soon as he takes that he's gonna be able to move down to the bottom right position as well i'm not sure if he knows that the 12 o'clock is up however it looks like the mineral only these guys are just going shot for shot base for base and um in the end, however, I think Lita has been mining for longer, so I mean, if we're going to give advantages here, I'm going to have to give it to Lita. He's been mining for a little bit longer. Massive stasis is going off. Four Arbiters stasising everything in the way, just trapping everything everything in this massive block of, ah another another stasis is going off so there's only one tank alive no more tanks alive just vultures versus Ar arbiters and uh goons not a very good combination not something you want to see as a terran player a lot of uh probes mining at that 12 o'clock base not even taking the time to build any defenses up there just wants to get that mining just start pumping that mining out and a really surprising comeback going on here but a huge emp going off across four arbiters Although they have gotten their stasis off already, so it's not really going to be that effective. Lead is going to need to come in here with a pretty massive force to try to save those tanks. You really do not want to let seven tanks like that go unnoticed. And there we go, those those tanks are getting unstasis. And um, we're going to have to see, yeah, it looks like he's going to try to reestablish that mineral only. As we see in the first person view here, three tanks that did get stasis earlier on the, on the uh, lower position of the map there are going to start shelling away at those troops and see if he can defend. No, he cannot defend those other tanks. And it looks like Lita is being put a little bit on the back foot here. However, he does have uh, he does have um, his natural mining, whereas Tempest does not. Na Tempest is completely mined out um, at his main and his natural, whereas Lita is mining off of his natural and as well as he's going to get that uh, that mineral only up so it's going to be a little bit even he's going to be down one gas leader that is he's going to be down one gas however if you can get some epic vulture playoff which i do not doubt um can excuse me can be the case for lita he's going to try to siege up here though um he, oh my god, there's just so much action going on right now. He's going to try to siege up here. It does not look like, however, he's going to be able to hold this position. He's going to have to use those vultures extremely effectively to fend, uh, defend those three tanks. One way too far in the backfield, however. A lot of scans are going to have to go off here. And with only two scanners now left for Lita, I really don't think that's going to be uh, be able to work out for him. And now the that base is kept alive for Tempest. It looks like, however, 
Um, just now, Lita did mine out his natural expansion, so he's just mining off of that mineral only. And he's going to try to take that top left position, but I think that, yeah, this is what... Uh, this is the, really the way you want to attack. You want to attack through even a base that uh, is not established for the Terran player because you are so mobile as the Protoss player. You want to attack through a base that might be taken and uh, work your way down to the position that SCVs might be transferred from so that you can catch them in transition. However, here comes, the, I think, the, the devastating blow here. I think this is going to be it for Lita. Lita is attacking that bottom right position with just vultures. I'm not sure how effective... Oh, it is effective, actually. He's got about nine vultures left there in the bottom position. However, he knows. Lita knows the look on his face. Um, he, he knows that he's, he's beat at this point. He's not going to have any mining left. And whereas, But this is extremely interesting. I think that uh, if he could reestablish himself, get one or two tanks. Oh, a big stasis going off there, though. Yeah, and now it looks like those Arbiters are used to just stasis single or dealt with just two tanks at a time just because they can. And, uh, yeah, um, if I was going to say if he could establish a couple of tanks and just deny mining at the 12 o'clock base, he'd be in an extremely good position. And that base, the Nexus does go down on that, uh, that other base there down at the bottom right. However, um, no production. Yeah, as we can see here, there is one tank being produced there from that one... Uh, that one factory stasis is going off on that science vessel as well um arbiter getting caught by a turret here not going to make much of a difference archons now coming out in the field um just kind of i think i used to think that archons were used to show dominance but i also think that uh for because they're so ineffective against terran players um everything doing full damage by the way for those of you who don't know gg coming out but uh, i also was going to say there that once you're about to be mined out you might as well start producing some kind of archons just as your attacking unit because uh you have so much such a buildup of gas if you're only mining off of one mineral patch but uh gg coming there tempest takes down that match so uh it looks like uh height is or sorry uh kt is in a really good position to take this one down guys i'm gonna see you guys in set three really good match there 26 minutes it is now 214 by the way for those of you tracking uh 214 um yeah see you guys in the next match g freaking g